What grandparents supposed to do? Let me tell you. The new generation, y'all millenniums, y'all got it all up. The reason why is because grandparents, but because I became a grandparent, does not automatically make me the babysitter or a daycare. Grandparents, true grandparents, they're supposed to raise their children right to where when y'all start having kids, y'all can financially provide for your own children and secure their daycare so you can go to work, so you can go out, so you can do anything else. Grandparents, See, let me tell you what you got no, 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 no. True grandparents are supposed to be able to call for their grandkids. Y'all supposed, y'all supposed, y'all supposed to come over here and be no. That's for the daddy. That's for the daddies. When the daddies ain't in the home, that's where they go for the daddy. Oh, <laughs> they go to their daddies for the summer because y'all got to split custody. This see, that's how y'all got up. Grandparents are supposed to be able to come to your house and stay with you and visit with their grandkids. You're supposed to be able to drop your kids off when your grandparents call for them and in their leisure time. Grandparents are not supposed to be daycares. Everybody's time is valuable. We have our own life. We work very hard to get everybody out of the house. Why would we want to raise your kids and keep your kids? That's out of order. But black people, the black culture is so dysfunctional that's why y'all think that grandparents is supposed to be keeping kids and raising kids. It don't go that way. Y'all got it messed up. So they're not going to stop and, 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 and guess what? And guess, yes, stuff like that's a portion. I'm supposed to be able to say, yo, on the 27th, I book for me and my grandkids. I, everybody going. Whoever really? ain't going, I don't need y'all money. I don't need y'all nothing. I don't need nothing. I just need my grandkids. Right. That's what we're supposed to do. So we can't but just it, drop them off when we want and, to. No. your boy pj today we back with another lit video we back in the confessional yes we stay in lit big dog man shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day shout out to my homeboy lucky wizard deals man he keeps it lit man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my video make sure you hit the links down below in the description for hivemindlabs.com and i'm also opulent sense um and what do y'all think i mean this is what we here for um, to talk about what grandparents do now. Me personally, I like that I got baby mamas because guess what? My kids come on weekends every other weekend. That's how y'all want to play. Y'all can play it. But I mean, before my two youngest ones, of course. But uh, for the rest of them, I'm like, shoot, <laughs> y'all want to let them come through in the summer? 
Hey, what you think I'm going to do? Sit over here and cry? Shoot, I'm going to be happy. That's why y'all mama over here complaining about what y'all don't do with the kids. Why don't you let the kid go with the daddy? And all y'all got to say is, who? he ain't nothing. He a deadbeat. No, you a deadbeat for keeping him away from the kids. Knowing damn well that's her complaint. She say it's the black family, but really it's the woman. It's y'all women. It ain't even just black women. It's white women too. It's women keeping their kids away from fathers when and y'all sitting over here pawning the baby off on the mama got her all stressed out because she trying to live her best life she trying to get her groove back she didn't raise y'all and now now that y'all grown up and y'all y'all independent and y'all got y'all whatever and y'all don't want y'all got these kids and y'all done broke up with the baby daddy and now he done pissed you off because he ain't uh he ain't meet you over here to do whatever the hell and you want to keep the kids away. Okay? Nah, it, if he ain't paying child support, you better drop them damn kids off. You're going to pay some way. You're going to pay, pay and watch him. You're going to be the babysitter. If you ain't going to pay, y'all need to... This, 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 it's, not the, it's, not, it's not the grandparents. We need... You need to you need to keep it real and tell them what it really is. They need to stop keeping the kids away from the father and let him be in the life and stop trying to hold them kids back. Because you see, ain't no ain't no man in that room she talking to. Ain't no man in there she talking to. She the kid she was probably coming over there to visit the kids and she like, Mama, you gonna take the babies with you? And she looked like she got twins. She, she like, No, I came to see him and I'm going home alone. Where's they daddy? Where's they daddy? I bet y'all got every excuse of why the daddy can't do this, the daddy can't do that. You probably won't even call him. You probably cussed him out so much that he trying to avoid you. Because, you know, a lot of y'all got bad mouths and y'all don't know how to talk to y'all baby daddy when all you got to do is be like, please, I'll be nice. I promise I'll be nice. And he'll, he'll be like, all right, bring the kids here. Damn, God dang. But... Y'all don't do that. So you got to split custody. That's where y'all messed up. And y'all do. Women mess up by not splitting custody. By not taking the kid over to the dad's house. It's not the grandparent's job. That's a fact. It's not the grandparent's job. Stop trying to pawn these kids off on the grandparents. Stop pawning them off on your sister saying, oh, my sister going to watch them and all this. No, nah, where they daddy at? When he get off work, he get off work at five. Kids will be there about five oh five. Okay, where he off this weekend? Kids will be there all weekend. Oh, it's summertime. The kids out of school. They eating up all my food, using all my electricity. You going to your daddy house? He got to figure out child care for y'all. But y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to hear that story, man. Y'all ain't trying to hear that. It's a lot of y'all ain't trying to hear. You like, no nah, man, ain't it? No nah, man, stop it. If it ain't you, it ain't you. But if it is you, then you gonna you gonna be mad at me for saying what I'm saying. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, y'all think it's you think why would I say that? Why would I say that y'all women keeping men out the father? The mama's saying it. That's what the mama's saying it. She ain't got no man there. If she did, look at this dresser. This dresser got all woman stuff on it. You think it's a man in that house? Ain't no man in that house. She got newborn babies. Ain't no man gonna allow a woman to put all this uh, perfume and stuff on the dress. Go, go, put that somewhere else. I can't even. I can't even sit my phone down because you got all this stuff on this dresser. I can't even look in the mirror because you got all this stuff, even pictures in the mirror. Man, ain't no man gonna be. Ain't no man gonna be sitting in there with that all that stuff on the dresser. It's just all cluttered with perfume. Uh, Blue magic, grease, pictures, some fake flowers, all type of fake perfumes and stuff. I mean, what the, what are we doing? So needless to say, ain't no man living at that house. And that's why the grandma was telling them. The grandma was telling them, I'm not watching your kids. Where's they daddy? But she didn't just, she didn't I, I put her daughter on blast because she see her daughter recording. But she won't, I hope her baby daddy see this. Her baby daddy need to see this and be like, "All right, I need to step up because my my ex, my ex, my baby mama, she want to go out. She want to have a life too." But I'm telling y'all, 
every one of y'all that keep y'all's kid away from their daddy, just know that man is not tripping. He living his best life. Swear to God. Y'all act like, oh, he's suffering because he ain't got the kids. No, he not. As soon as he know he ain't getting the kids, he, he going to kick it. He going to party. He playing a video game all night. He spending time with his girl's kids. If that don't make you mad, if that don't make you upset, that he'll take up take care of another kid before he take care of his own because you keeping him away, then welcome to the party. You need to learn. You need to understand. You only hurting yourself. You only hurting the kids. You is not hurting that man. He don't give a damn. As soon as you hung up on him and said you can't see your kids, he moved on. Everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.